All right, this is going to be a reading for Leo. Happy birthday, Leo. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Leo, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, and sustas, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, Jupiter, Leos. All right. Into this month, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. Let's see. Let's get six cards. What's coming in for Leo for August 2022? It's coming in for Leo. What do you want to tell Leo, Spirit? The ladder, climbing towards success. Okay. Leo. All right, what's coming in for Leo? We have the chain, a chain of events that will affect your life. So there's a chain of events, climbing that ladder, okay? Let's see, what else, Spirit, do you want to tell for Leo? December, the month of December may be significant, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or have Sagi in your chart. All right, what else, Spirit? Scissors, disappointment in some affair, honor and respect will come to you. So somebody may be getting cut out, cut off with these scissors. There's some type of disappointment in some affair. But right after that, you got the crown. Honor and respect will come to you. Okay, let's get one more for the Leo. And we have the bear. Danger, especially in money matters. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have the bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. Okay. So, I feel like you're going to overcome a problem. You will be climbing that ladder. I see the I see a ladder here two times, but there's some type of a, a wall here uh, or a misunderstanding. And the shield, you may need to defend yourself. Okay. So, there's something here that you may need to defend yourself in, some type of a misunderstanding. Um, you will successfully overcome this problem, Leo. Um, I feel like you are climbing the ladder towards success. There's going to be a chain of events that will affect your life. Something about the month of December may be significant. You could be dealing with the Sag. Have a Sag Sagittarius placement in your chart. Check out if you do have Sagittarius placements. Check what house that's in. That may be um, significant to um, whatever this disappointment is in your life. It may be in that Whatever house you have Sagittarius in, this is very specific for someone, that may be where the disappointment in your life may be taking place, okay? All right, so let's see. What is this climbing the ladder towards success for Leo for August? All right. Three cards. Six of swords. And king of swords. So yeah, there's some Aquarius, they were Gemini. Uh, somebody here may be making a head over heart decision. There could have been some type of invest, a bad investment that was made, but you're moving away from a situation. I see you moving away from something here. that maybe um, you decided to stop investing into to make a head over heart decision. Aquarius Libra Gemini is coming out. You could be very, be, oh my gosh. You could be being very strategic at this time, very calculated, very sharp with your words. You're very intelligent, but I feel like you are moving away from something you're, you're no longer investing into a situation. Or you may see something as a bad investment, maybe with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, a masculine energy, and you're deciding to move away from it. You're making a head over heart decision. Show me this chain of events that will affect Leo's life for the month of August, 2022. We have, oh. Chariot in the reverse. This could be like issues with your car, uh, issues with the police. I hope not, but with the chariot in the reverse, this is Cancerian energy. This is also in regards to travel, movement, 
positive movement forward. What is this chain of events that will affect Leo's life? Okay. This may be like business travel as well. Chain, chain of events. Or you may, there may be car trouble. My ear is ringing. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Cancer, Virgo is out here now. Um, and the Knight of Wands. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you're very passionate. You could be moving very quick or making some type of impulsive decision um, to ghost a situation, ghost a vehicle. This may be somebody who's like, Maybe you're ghosting a Cancerian or an Aquarius super Gemini. I feel like you're like, there's something here. It's like a chain of events. You may have been like climbing the ladder towards success, but now it's like you're no longer wanting to invest into a search. Like I'm getting like a change in direction here. You're no longer investing into a situation. The chariot reverse, something came to a complete stop. You've gotten some type of, maybe you like went looking for some type of information or you got some type of download, spiritual enlightenment. Um, and you decided to go towards something that you're passionate about. Show me December. Why is December here? The tower in the reverse. You may, and, ooh, and the ten of wands. You may be trying to avoid a tower moment, Scorpio energy. I feel like there's a lot of burdens here. Are you trying to like run away from something or get away from something that's weighing you down? You may be feeling overworked. One more on December. The star Aquarius energy. You could be avoiding a tower moment with an Aquarius, but there will be healing here. Show me what these scissors are. The death card. So disappointment in some affair with the death card. There's some type of change here. You may try, you may be trying to avoid this, but it's like weighing you down. Like you need to heal from this. Or you're avoiding a tower moment with an Aquarius, Scorpio. There's some type of change here. Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups. You may be deciding to like end a situation and propose something to an Aquar or to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There may be some type of a, a gift coming in as well. Or maybe you're wanting to gift something or Somebody here has a lot of love for someone. Somebody here is really intuitive. But something here has ended with the death card. There's some type of transformation or some type of change that needs to take place. And with this tower in the reverse, I, I feel like somebody's trying to avoid something from... Avoid healing, avoid a tower moment. Show me honor and respect will come to you with the crown that is so Leo. <laughs> honor and respect will come to you. Eight of Wands. So there will be some type of communication that comes in or some type of quick action or, or messages that come in. Show me honor and respect will come to Leo, Seven of Wands, and Seven of Swords, and the High Priestess. Damn. 
So you got Piscean energy here. Somebody here. Somebody. Somebody may be blocking communication with someone who is lying, cheating, stealing, being deceptive, and deciding to use their intuition. Or there's some type of secrets here. There could be like a secret side piece, a secret mistress, or um, somebody's lying about something. respect will come to you. So, okay, I'm going to come back to that. Show me the bear danger, especially in money matters. The Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Queen of Swords. So there may be some type of cycle that's closing out or a divorce because the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Then you have a King of Cups. King of Wands, there you go, Leo. Uh, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody here is taking action to have some type of equal give and take or there may be some type of money or a payout that somebody needs to take action trying to see what deck I want to use all right, let's go around one more time. Show me this chariot in the reverse up here. Chain of events that will affect Leo's life. What is the chariot reversed? Eight of Pentacles. So if you travel for work or... That could like come to a stop or there may be some type of car trouble, six of swords. Yeah, when it comes to like traveling. This may also stop someone's money as well. Some of the Knight of Wands or Leo, the Queen of Cups. So somebody is rushing towards the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A queen of cups, a mother, someone who's very intuitive, loving, caring, nurturing, kind. Somebody who's very spiritual with this hermit card. This may be someone who goes to you or you goes to this person. This may be somebody who's very enlightened. Somebody who stays to themselves. But you're rushing towards this person. What is this tower reversed for December? Ten of Swords. Yeah, wow. Some type of an ending and a betrayal. You're trying to avoid like some type of a, a, a painful ending here. But it's weighing you the fuck down. What is the star card? The Knight of Cups. So somebody may need to apologize in order to heal a situation and that's burdening them. They're avoiding... Six of Cups, this is something from the past or someone, something about children or childhood wounds or something. Somebody's avoiding apologizing for a betrayal to heal a situation and that's burdening them. Or somebody's carrying a lot of weight on their shoulders or somebody's like weighed down by a situation. Okay, show me the Seven of Swords for the crown. Honor and respect will come to you. Nine of Wands. Somebody here is feeling defeated in a situation when it comes to an empress or a mother figure, a Taurus or a Libra. Uh, somebody who's not nurturing. Somebody who's playing mind games, creating a bunch of drama, conflict, rumors, gossiping, lying. A 
Okay. Mm. Somebody may have lied or kept a secret, like a mistress, a secret. There's going to be communication coming in. This could even be about a, a mother. This could have been about someone who is controlling, abusive, but they feel defeated. Or somebody was trying to defeat this person. Why is the Empress reversed? The world. Something here is over. Some cycle closed out so that a new cycle can begin. This may also be somebody at a distance or someone who's born. Show me the high priestess. Somebody here is very intuitive. Nine of Pentacles, good on their own, single, self-sufficient, independent. And the moon, Pisces. This could be a Pisces with the high priestess and the moon. Pisces or Cancer. Somebody may like fear somebody's independence or somebody here is keeping it hidden that somebody is independent and intuitive or somebody lied about a side piece or they're trying to keep it hidden that somebody is independent. What the fuck is this? What's the seven of wands? Either way, honor and respect is coming justice. So something here is being blocked or somebody standing their ground could be a Libra or something here is justified. Some, there will be balance restored to a situation after some type of deception. Somebody could have lied about being single. The eight of wands. Five of wands. There could have been some drama surrounding a Virgo or Hermit, or some drama about a ghosting or Aquarius. Again, we got Aquarius and Virgo. That keeps coming out. Somebody's gonna communicate about. Uh, Oh my gosh. Strength card, Leo energy. Somebody is lacking the courage and the strength to balance a situation out, to bring justice to a situation and hanged man with the Pisces. Somebody here is refusing to see something from someone else's point of view or someone else's perspective. What is this wheel of fortune down here for danger, especially in money matters? Somebody may be having to pay something out magician somebody manipulated wow okay somebody tried to manipulate either a fortune a great deal of fortune or somebody's destiny somebody tried to like but it's not going to work the magician in the reverse their magic ain't fucking working or whatever the fuck they were trying to manipulate it's not going to work leo all right show me the king of wands eight of cups so you may be walking away from something emotionally four of cups because you're bored and discontent three of pentacles you may be deciding to like go work on something collaborate somewhere else have some type of equal give and take show me this death card seven of swords so you're Somebody's putting an end to, to like the sneaky behaviors and deciding to like offer something stable. Wow, four of wands. As I was saying, I was clarifying the ace of pentacles to go offer something stable. The four of wands talks about stability. 
maybe to a Scorpio or proposed to a Scorpio. Somebody needs to like change their deceptive ways. We also have Virgo here uh, with the Hermit, someone who's very spiritual, someone who's very enlightened, psychic. What's the Two of Swords? This is a hard decision for someone to make. There could be like Six of Pentacles. Somebody, this is a hard decision to make. Five of Cups in the reverse. Six of Pentacles. Somebody here like is no longer crying over spilled milk. Somebody wants an equal give and take. I don't know how this is resonating, but it's not for me to know. So show me this uh, Six of Swords up here. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody's, somebody's cutting off communication and moving away from a situation. They're no longer investing in the sun. What's the King of Swords? The Page of Cups and the Four of Swords. Somebody wants to heal something and express their emotions or apologize. Somebody's making a head over heart decision. Some of the seven of pentacles. Two, two of cups. So somebody is no longer a so somebody is no longer investing into a relationship, maybe with an Aquarius Super Gemini or someone who is younger. Temperance, Saggy, and Nine of Cups. You may see a Sagittarius, again, Piscean energy. Somebody who's very balanced and earth angel, someone who's very patient as your wish fulfillment. So this looks like somebody's moving away from one situation, but they're trying to avoid like a tower. They're trying to avoid like a harsh, painful ending, but it's weighing somebody down. Somebody could have lied about being single or they were trying to keep it hidden or they were trying or they want to apologize for this. I don't know. But somebody's lacking the strength and courage to bring balance to a situation because they refuse to see something from someone else's perspective. So there can be like, I don't even know if this is a mother figure, a father figure, a king of cups to the empress reverse. Somebody closed out a cycle with someone who is like emotionally manipulative, someone who's not abundant, someone who's not caring, not nurturing, not kind. Somebody feels defeated when it comes to this situation. Queen of Wands, it could be you or somebody who's, you know, very attractive and good looking. Yeah, they're, but they're ending a situation. So somebody's closing out a cycle with somebody who is like, emotionally manipulative, not a good parent, not a good mother, not a good spouse. But they feel like the wounded warrior when it comes to the situation. Someone was dealing with a snake here, with this empress in the reverse and this big ass snake. It's like someone was dealing with a snake and they're deciding to end something. The death card in the world, that's like an ending. Somebody's taking action and letting go of somebody who is manipulative or disconnecting from their emotions. You may have been dealing with someone who was disconnected from their emotions. Somebody somebody tried to manipulate somebody's like fate and destiny. You have the Seven of Swords that came out twice too. It's like, there was definitely a lot of deception here, manipulation, lying, trickery, thievery, uh, shit, okay? Somebody may be going towards a Scorpio or someone, a water sign possibly, to offer something stable, but they don't, they're refusing to see something from someone else's perspective, or you are, somebody is. If somebody's not hiding something about finances, they're hiding the fact that, what is this? What is this Nine of Pentacles? It's 
strength card, Leo. This could be you, Four of Cups. You could be hiding the fact that like you're bored and discontent. Being single. <laughs> okay, what is the moon? The Nine of Wands, Ace, Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Lovers, and Three of Cups. Wow. And the star. You could be going towards an Aquarius or a Gemini. Somebody here may have options in love with this Knight of Wands and the Lover's card. But somebody wants to have like a new beginning. Is this like an um, open relationship with the Three of Cups? I see somebody like leaving one situation with some... But they're avoiding like a harsh, painful ending. Um, but somebody here seems to be like being impulsive or I don't know, Leo. I feel like somebody may have made a bad investment at a distance overseas across a large body of water. Maybe with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or somebody who is very calculated. Maybe somebody who works in the government. Um, and they're like, something came to a complete halt and they're deciding to ghost a situation or some shit like that. Either way, there's going to be a chain of events that are taking place. Let me know how this resonates with you. I'll get a few romance angels. What's coming in for love for Leo? I'm going to get a couple of these too. Let's get a couple of cards. What's coming in for love for Leo for the month of August? If this reading helped, gave you clarity or guidance anyway, let me know. Drop a comment. Smash that thumbs up button for your girl. All right, let's get two cards, please, for Leo. What does Leo need to hear for the month of August? We have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay, so you may be like, somebody may be looking at their own reflection. You may be a reflection of someone else. I don't know. Um, you guys may need to give each other space and just trust that everything will work out. Uh, yeah. Trust. Yeah, trust that everything will work out. And then you get the freaking trust card. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So you need to accept things for what they are and let that shit transform, okay? Have faith and trust. May give someone some space at this time. Because I see you very I see you um, rushing in very passionately. Uh, being a little bit impulsive. Uh it's coming off as like player energy, Leo. Okay. So slow down. Take some time to reflect. You can't jump from one relationship to another. That shit don't work. Because I see you trying to avoid like some type of a painful ending. But I do see you like leaving a situation. All right, let's get three cards for Leo. We're going towards something else to have something stable. But the energy that it's coming in as, uh, it looks like it could get sabotaged, you know? Children, your love life is being affected by children. This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner that you seek. One more. Deception and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So take that how you want. I'm going to get one more because that was two cards and spirit, you know how I roll. But again, we did see deception in this reading. So there was like lying, cheating, stealing, deception, thievery, whatever it was. Somebody here was wearing a false mask when it came to their true feelings, the romantic feelings. Give me one more. Thank you. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take. And the hermit also kept coming out in your reading. So again, listen to your spirit guides. Take some time. Go self-reflect. Um, step away from... Go into hermit mode, okay? Isolation. 
for a little bit so you can reflect and think things through because I do with that strength card in the reverse Leo that's your energy the hanging man that's Piscean energy but they're both in the reverse it's like somebody here is lacking the courage and the strength to see things from a different perspective period all right so maybe you need to go into hermit mode self-reflect okay you do have reflection here so I'm just saying all right Leo that's what I got for you if this reading helped or gave you guidance in any way, let me know. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.